Hello there everyone, I am Pepino here, back for another Kerbal Space Program tutorial. And today we are going to be talking a bit about planes, and what makes them work, what makes them not work. So, uh, the easiest way to demonstrate that, I think, is going to be to just take a look at one of the stock planes that they have built for us. So, we are going to load this up here, and this is one of the Raven Spears. Now, basically, uh, what makes these planes work is simpler than you would think. Uh, you just have to have enough lift for as much mass as you have, which basically uh, you just add a good amount of wings and you should have that. You shouldn't have a problem there. Um, you need to add these things on the back. Um, they are little fins basically that allow you to control everything. You need to make sure that um, your plane is symmetrical so that uh, it has even on both sides, you're not going to tip one way or the other. And what you need to do is check your center of mass and your center of lift. You do that by clicking these little buttons down here. And this is important. For a plane to work, your center of lift needs to be just behind your center of mass. Now when I try to build them, I try to do this a little closer, so this little blue ball here is basically inside the yellow ball but towards the back end of it and you want it to be absolutely centered right down the middle just slightly behind and that is going to give you a plane that should fly stably uh, so as long as you have control you have enough lift you have uh, yeah these things for control and SAS for control you have enough fuel and engines and you need to use something called air intakes uh, so these air intakes basically take in oxidi oxygen uh, because you're using jet fuel uh, for space planes or just planes in general. The plane fuel, the jet fuel, is called liquid fuel and it is in these cans right here. And it doesn't have any oxidizer in it, which means you need air intakes. Basically, that's what these jet engines run with is air intakes and liquid fuel. Um, and they're a lot more efficient than, say, rocket engines. So, uh, make sure you have your air intakes, center of lift just behind center of mass, and symmetrical, enough control, all of that. And you should have a pretty decent space plane. So, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, build one on our own and then fly it just to show you. Okay, so here we go. We are ready to build our space plane. So, the first thing I'm going to do is select this cockpit here, and then I'm going to uh, select, well, actually, first we'll go to control, we will get a, not a small reaction wheel, here we go, the correct sized uh, SAS unit there, and then we will go back to fuel, we will get the liquid fuel fuselage, and we will add one right there. Then we can throw on a jet engine and yeah this is gonna be a rather small plane it's gonna be a basic plane but it's just to teach you uh, what you're looking for when you're building them so what I like to do then is turn on center of lift and center of mass right away if you don't have any wings or anything you won't have any center of lift so let's throw on a delta wing here and let's put it right up here and we need to get it symmetrical obviously so there we go we've got a couple delta wings and they gotta be up near the front a little bit but that's okay um, we will add one of these elevons because that is how you control your ship or your plane so we gotta just do a little experimenting to turn them the right way and there you go so we got two of those and then you can actually just hit alt and click on click them again and they'll be turned the same way so you don't have to uh, find them and turn them again and actually while you're turning them you do it with W A S and D but if you hold shift you can actually tilt them like by little clicks instead of um, by just uh, like 90 degrees so if you want to turn it just like this or whatever hold shift and that is how you do that so we gotta make sure though that we haven't done that at all and we've got them lined up correctly 
So there we go. So we need to bring our center of mass a bit back, probably, or bring our center of lift even more forward, which it's already pretty darn forward. Um, what we want to do is now we do need to add under aerodynamics some air intakes so we will turn off angle snap here with C and then that will allow us to just place them up on top like this there we go and now what could we do to add a little bit more mass to the back of this thing um, let's see Um, do we want to... No, nah, we don't need to really add too much more mass to the back. So we aren't going to mess with it. What we're going to do is uh, we will add some tail fins here. Right here, which should give us a bit of control that we need. And everything is looking good so far. Um... Now, let's put on our landing gear, so that is under utility, and let's see, there it is, so we'll place this here, and then uh, I like them out wide and on the back, and then on the front, I like to hit Q and turn them around to face forward like that, so they're out in front, um, and the back wheels are out in back, at least as much as you can get it. And uh, we we really ought to move this center of um, the center of lift forward just a bit. So as much as we can here, without it looking too ridiculous, how far apart they are out in the front. Uh, and actually, let's just connect those up with struts, maybe, just to get. Um, Why did it not work? There we go. Just to get hopefully a bit of stability. And then we will strut out to there too. Okay. So whoop, these are actually angled down a bit. And we don't want that. We want them to be angled just like this. There we go. Nope, that's up. Why? Stop it. Oh, we forgot to turn on angle snap. That's why we had turned it back off. So let's turn it back on, and there we go. So, put that right there. Our struts still work. Why? No. Why is it going up? It needs to be directly even. Sorry. It's taken me many clicks, but we have now finally gotten it. All right. So, we are directly even. We've got everything where we need it to be. Let's try this. Hopefully, it works. This is, I actually haven't tested this like in the new aerodynamics model. I've never actually flown a plane that I've built. So this is uh, just me hopefully knowing what I'm talking about, basically. So there we go. There's our tutorial plane. Let's save and let's launch. Uh, the other thing you probably could add if you wanted to would be solar panels and batteries. We didn't add those. Uh, but if you're going for longer flights, you're definitely going to want to. You can stick the solar panels out on the wings, and it shouldn't uh, really matter at all. It shouldn't mess anything up. And you can probably put uh, the batteries on the cockpit. What you don't want to do is probably put a cargo bay or a service bay in the middle here, because uh, I did try that once, uh, and it didn't go well. It made everything wobble a lot, and that was bad. So, anyway, we've turned on our SAS. We have throttled all the way up, and we are ready to go. If we are now we're screaming down the runway, if we hold S down, that should whoa. All right. Well, anyway, we we spun off to the side a little bit because I was messing around, but uh, we took off. Anyway, hold S down, you go up. Uh, hold W or push W, you go down. So now the thing is, we don't want to be screaming as fast as we can be through the atmosphere. So we don't need that. So we're gonna throw us down a bit. Um, we'll put it at like half-ish or a little more. Alright, like right there. So, now what you want to do to turn is kind of uh, hit E and then D to go right because you want to tilt yourself a bit and then turn yourself a bit. You want to keep 
your nav ball, as always, in or close to the green as much as you can, because uh, otherwise they spin out. But this plane is flying basically very easily and steadily. So, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to turn over this way, and we are going to try and come in for an approach on the island runway over here. So, let's fly over this way, and let's see if we can land there, and maybe even take off and fly back. Who knows? Who knows? I, I don't even know, honestly. There's a decent chance I'm just going to crash. But, either way, you have still learned what you need to learn, and if you followed my, the instructions, uh, you can build a pretty good space plane. Again, don't turn it too sharply, because you spin out. So, we have just spun out. Um, we will recover it there quickly. And that is that. That is what happens when you spin out, when you turn too sharply, basically. So, we need to now slowly ease ourselves back this way. And I'm just going to actually turn this off and glide for a moment. So, we will glide to bring our speed down. And we will line ourselves up. You see the runway over there. Now we'll throttle up a bit. Not too much, though. And we are okay with the fact that we are going down. We, we want to be getting lower. So, here we go. And almost ready to fly in to the runway. Bob looks a bit nervous, but that's okay. Hopefully, hopefully he has no reason to be. Looks like a fairly solid approach uh, as far as approaches go. So here we go. We are coming in, coming in well. The other thing I should mention, if you click on this, you can see your intake air. That's how much intake air you have. The higher up in the atmosphere you get, that'll drop. Uh, and when it drops to zero, your engine is not going to work. So basically that's what the air intakes do and you don't need to worry about it too much until you're up into the upper atmosphere alright so we can click that and make it appear or click it and make it go away right now I want it to go away so we can focus on our landing so we are coming in just gliding and getting ready to touch down on this runway here we go we want to make sure our speed isn't too much We've got our landing gear down. You hit G to bring your landing gear up and down, by the way. We never lifted it from takeoff because it's a short flight. Um, but, yeah, you can do that if you want. All right, so here we go. We are coming in pretty much perfectly for this landing. And we will touch down, calmly apply the brakes, and there we go and if we do this can help slow ourselves down so that is that we have come to a landing on the island airfield at uh, this little place here so that is how you build and fly a basic space plane it takes some practice it takes some getting used to uh, you may have times where something is going wrong and you're just not really sure what is up it happens to me too um, but basically, if you follow this design, you should get a fairly stable space plane. And if you follow the center of mass behind the center of lift type of things, make sure you have enough lift, make sure everything is symmetrical, you should get a fairly solid space plane. So, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next tutorial.